reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Certain individuals came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to discuss this question with the apostles and the elders. Then the apostles and the elders, with the consent of the whole church, decided to choose men from among their members and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas, called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers, with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the believers of Gentile origin, in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, greetings. Since we have heard that certain persons who have gone out from us, though with no instructions from us, have said things to disturb you and have unsettled your minds. We have decided unanimously to choose representatives and send them to you, along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have risked their lives for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth. For it has seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to impose on you no further burden than these essentials, that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols, and from blood and from what is strangled, and from fornication. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. The word of the Lord. Thanks. and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth your saving power among all nations let the peoples praise you O God let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. A reading from the book of Revelation. In the spirit, the angel carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper, clear as crystal. It has a great high wall with 12 gates and at the gates twelve angels, and on the gates are inscribed the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east there were three gates. 
on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city has twelve foundations, and on them are the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God the Almighty and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light and its lamp is the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Little uh, Jimmy was very afraid of the lightning and the thunder. His mom and dad went into his room during a thunderstorm and said, Now, Jimmy, don't be afraid. God is right here in the room with you. He said, Okay, mommy and daddy, I won't be afraid. But then as mommy and daddy went into their room and started to get ready for bed, the lightning clapped and the thunder rolled and Jimmy screamed. Jimmy's daddy and mommy went back into his room and said, Honey, we thought we told you, you don't need to be afraid. God is here right with you in this room. Jimmy said, Mommy and Daddy, I know God is right here in the room with me, but I need someone with skin on. 
Sisters and brothers, no matter how old we are, we never truly outgrow our uneasiness, the fear of being abandoned, especially when there is so much uncertainty. That's probably how the disciples of Jesus felt. They had left everything to follow Jesus, and suddenly Jesus begins to talk about leaving them and going away from them. They ask questions, clearly anxious about being left alone, but Jesus promises them the Holy Spirit who will calm their fears and guide them. And our first reading highlights the fear of the early church community, fear that came from the call to see things differently, to be inclusive and to relax some of the traditional rules. Sisters and brothers, today we have issues that fill some members of our own church community with fear and with anxiety, issues around priesthood, around marriage and divorce, death and dying, sexual orientations, and so on. But the Spirit is still active in our midst as it was the centuries before us. And therefore, we are called to be open. In one of the messages, Pope Francis said, there is always resistance to the surprises of the Spirit, but it is the Spirit who continues to lead the church today. So let us pray to overcome our fears and to be open to the working of the Spirit in our lives and in our communities. Amen.